Matthew chapter number 9, verse number 1 and 2. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their fate, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good courage, thy sins be forgiven thee. In the complete Jewish Bible, it reads, So he stepped into a boat, crossed the lake again, and came to his own town. Some people brought him a paralyzed man lying on a mattress. When Yeshua saw their trust, he said to the paralyzed man, Courage, son, your sins are forgiven you. We find here that Yeshua was on the east side of the Sea of Galilee. After casting the legion out of the demonic two individuals, after the herd of swine plunged into the Sea of Galilee, they crossed to the other side of the lake once again and we can see vividly how the lake of Galilee in this area Christ took a lot of time so after that it says they entered into his home city Nazareth so we can see that they made the journey around the mountains or maybe even through the mountains back to Nazareth and what is the first thing they meet some people with a man that is paralyzed palsy is a medical condition where the muscles can cause shaking trembling even paralyzing an individual but these individuals had heard of what Jesus had done. They took courage to what they have been hearing. And they knew that he could do something to help this man's condition. But we have something different. Back in Christ's day and time, there were no wheelchairs like we see. Now, someone that were paralyzed had to be carried by other individuals. And so this man was being carried. And then Christ looked and saw their trusting. Look and just saw them hoping and just knew that he could do something. And he made the statement, take courage. Your sins are forgiven you. Notice how God deals with the most important things. The most important thing were their sins. The most important thing wasn't the man's walking, but the most important thing was sin that would separate him from the Father. And you see how his faith in Jesus for healing brought about his forgiveness of sin. The same way Abraham believed God for the promise and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. The same type of thing where trusting in God can cause your sins to be forgiven. God, we bless you and give you glory and honor. Thank God. Amen.